The boxer's journey is about perfection, physically and mentally. Working on physical skills is accompanied by close attention of mentors, media, and spectators. We observe the athletes training and see the result. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The true preparation is carried out in the boxers' minds. Such a labor-intensive way of training is invisible to cameras and human vision. You can win without a hard hit. You can reach the top with lack of stamina. The timing and speed are all important. The lack of one of the elements you can compensate for by reinforcing the others. Only mentality is still an indispensable factor. Not everyone can repress excitement and control emotions. So today, we'll travel to the land of the rising sun and tell the story of a boxer who tamed fear and made it a source of perfect power. His name is Naoya Inoue, but for you, he's just the monster. And before you start watching, please subscribe to Boxing Classics. Give us a like and leave a comment, please. It's so important for us. Naoya Inoue is a boxer who has no weaknesses. He's an athlete who doesn't make mistakes. His punching power is legendary. By the age of 30, the Japanese had guaranteed his place in the Hall of Fame. Inoue's story is the fulfillment of his father's dream. Shingo had a short amateur career and always wanted to be a professional boxer, but due to other commitments, he was unable to dedicate to the sport. When his kids got older and showed interest in martial arts, Shingo got a chance to become a trainer. At age six, Naoya first became interested in boxing. His younger brother, Takuma, followed soon after. Until sixth grade, Inoue trained only with his dad and never competed. For the first six years of training, I took it like a game. All that time I was boxing with my dad and suddenly I found out I was going to fight some strange guy soon. I was so scared, really scared. Fear is a familiar feeling for every boxer. For guys taking their first steps in the sport, it becomes the main enemy. Shingo understood his son's fate was in his hands and he helped the guy to cope with the excitement. I'm scared too, the father said, but at the same time, I'm sure we're doing everything right. We can't stop, otherwise the progress will be wasted. The dad's words had impressed the boy, and the fear receded. Some time later, Naoya was celebrating his first victory in the boxing ring. From that moment on, a successful stretch of his amateur career began. At the time, the young Inoue showed the qualities of a future monster for the first time. The triumphs were piling up, so it was time for another mental hurdle. It was defeats. In 2010, at a university tournament, Naoya lost to a more experienced guy, Yusaku Nobe. The failure led to despair, but Shingo found a way to restore his son's fighting spirit. He got him a sparring session with the offender. Shingo said it was all about hurting pride and the best way was to make it one more fight, albeit an unofficial one. The Olympics could be the peak of Inoue's amateur career, but in 2012, Naoya lost to Burzon Kazapov in a qualifying tournament. He won 75 fights and suffered only six losses, but a successful amateur career came to a disappointing end. The Japanese amateur experience can be amassed in different ways. He has never won any major international tournaments, but if you look at his overall career, 
it all becomes clear. Shingo was not creating a titled amateur. He was creating a top-class professional. My dad is my sole hero. The truth is, without him, I wouldn't have won a single fight. The road to the pros is literally carpeted for many successful amateurs. Promoters are fighting for them. They are praised by the media, and the fighters themselves take a long time to adapt. It wasn't like that with Naoya. No one gave him any advances. Inoue didn't need warm-up fights. Five bouts were enough to become a contender, and six rounds were enough to become the champion of the light flyweight division. Less than one year later, Naoya won the title in the next division. Longtime champion Omar Navaez was forced to kneel before the mighty Japanese. Naoya Inoue's rise was meteoric. The whole world has known the reason why he is called the monster. The knockouts and the pain he inflicts on his opponents make people forget he is a small division fighter. He is the first since Manny Pacquiao to break the curse of flyweights. Hey, look up this young fighter called the monster. He's a mean son of a bitch. Oh yeah, you'll see this bad motherfucker. He's, he, he's better than Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was blue like that. Naoya! Monster in Championship titles in three classes and a knockout collections. That's enough to gain recognition from true boxing fans. But globally, Inoue's popularity was still low the World Boxing Super Series came to help. The tournament was attended by the best representatives of the bantamweight, but it was a triumph for the monster. All of the division's elite crumbled like leaves in the fall. There was no competition. Honest, I was not. I was vaguely familiar with Inoue, and I heard he's a big puncher, and and um, uh, I, I I heard obviously he's 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 been on a tear, but I hadn't seen, I hadn't put the effort to to, to see uh, uh, any of his fights since. Man, and now I'm mad at myself. He, I want to go back and watch all his fights. <laughs> this is the sixth consecutive opponent that prior uh, or after facing Inoue had never been KO'd. Yeah, never been KO'd. And the last three didn't make it past a round and a half. This dude is dominating world-class opposition like nobody's business. He the legendary Nonito Donaire was the only one who survived. But he left the full force of his body shots. And two years later, Donaire was destroyed in a completely one-sided rematch. The division sweep ended in a fight with Paul Butler. 
The Brit was the last frontier for the Japanese to overcome his way to the undisputed championship. Now that Inoue's talent was worldwide recognition, many have wondered how the boxer rates his accomplishments. Naoya's answer is in keeping with his national self-criticism. To be honest, I'm not really quite happy with my performances. That's why I'm working so hard. I have to reach number one status in this game, and hopefully one day that will become a reality. The Japanese mentality is typical perfectionism. The desire to do his job perfectly coincides with Inoue's boxing philosophy. The improvement that Naoya is talking about is not just about fighting skills. It's about forming the perfect legacy. Having become the undisputed champion, Naoya intends to repeat his success in the next weight class. There is only one man in boxing history who became a two-time undisputed champion in the four-belt era. That's Terence Crawford, a man with whom Naoya is competing for the pound-for-pound -pound lead at the moment. Moving up to the next weight class, Inoue immediately challenged Stephen Fulton, who was the division leader. The American held two belts and was the hope of many not so much to win as to create some type of rivalry. Everybody thought it would be uh, maybe a little bit closer fight. No, obviously, you know, it was a uh, favorite to win, and I, I thought so too. But I thought uh, Putin was going to give him a, a little bit more competition. But it was just, it was just, it looked like a, like a, real, you know, mismatch. You know, he set the course for the fight, the mentality of the fight, the theme of the fight, right from the start. In a way, read the feet of Fulton. He read his feet. And as soon as he saw Fulton move his feet backwards, bang! And that's a, that's a massive statement, because anyway, he's, a, he's, a, he's moving up to a nickname. Special fighter. He's a monster. He is a monster. He is... The highest level. The monster continues his journey of perfection. Soon, he'll be back in the ring. And once again, he will fight an elite opponent. He will challenge the haters waiting for his failure. But above all, Naoya is challenging himself. I still have fear. The night before the fight is the scariest time. I can't sleep. I keep thinking I could lose, that I could lose my titles. The more I think about it, the more I worry. But the day of the fight changes everything. I step into the ring and adrenaline takes over. I want to push myself as far as possible. I want to know my limits, and I want to be number one at this game. The monster is the alter ego that gets awakened every time that Naoya Inoue steps into the boxing ring. His example shows that the perfect boxer is not the one with the best speed or crazy punch. It's the boxer who can conquer fear and despair overcome setbacks and disappointments. This is the kind of environment where talent is formed. This is the environment where the real monsters are created.